Okay, this is a quick demo of Supermon 64, which is a machine language monitor. Um, in more modern terms, I guess you would call it a debugger. And this was basically how you coded on a Commodore 64 back in the old days. You can see it has just a simple basic stub here. We run it. That loads Supermon into memory and calls this uh, address 38169 to start it. Um, so here's some of the things you can do. You can see that it's printed out all the registers here. Um, we could do a decimal to hex conversion 38169. We'll see. There's the, the same number in hex, in octal, in uh, binary. So now let's do a memory dump of 9519. It defaults to hex if you don't specify one of these sigils. So they, this is a raw memory dump of the first part of um, the Supermon code. Um, we can also do a disassembly here of the same address and now you'll see this is the start of the code for Supermon um, we can also just keep hitting D and it'll continue disassembling from the address that we um, last left off on um, another thing you can do with the memory, let's do D020, and if you recall, this is the address that controls the border color and the background color. So if I change this to F0, now my background is black, F, let's do FB, gray, F3, cayenne. I can also do the background color like this. Uh, it's pretty ugly. Let's get back to what's blue five. No. There we go. Um, so as you can see, after you've listed the memory, you actually can edit the hex bytes here, and it will poke that value back into memory. Over here, these are the ASCII representations of these bytes. Um, sometimes if a byte is, doesn't correspond to a printable character, you'll just see a dot like this. Um, you should note, you can't actually edit, you cannot edit the ASCII over here. Um, you can only edit the hex. All right, uh, so let's see, what else can we do? We can do a quick assembler demo. I will be putting this in the tape buffer. So I'm going to load um, the accumulator with 4a. I'm going to call the character out routine and then I'm going to load the accumulator with 42 hex. I'm going to call the character out again, and then I'm going to return to sub. All right. So now if we do a raw memory dump there, you can see here, this is the opcode that corresponds to the LDA instruction. Here's 4A, which was the operand I gave it. And over here you can see that that corresponds to J. And then over here, 42, that corresponds to B. Those are my initials. And these are the jump instructions to FFD2, which is going to output that. So now if we do jump 033C, it's now printed out my initials right here. And then as you can see, after the return, there's a break which is going to 
go back into the monitor and so that's why we see the the registers again and if we look at the registers here you can see that actually the accumulator still has the 42 value that we loaded into it in the last part of that code so what else can we do um, well let's put in 033c as a hex value we get the decimal value 828 so I'll exit to basic sys 828 and that's an example of how I can um, call a machine routine that I've written from basic um, so now to get back into the monitor if you remember the original address that it loaded to you can use that or also if you jump to any place that holds a zero zero that's the opcode for break and so that's going to be trapped by the monitor and you'll go back in so the the um, eight eighth byte in a zero page generally contains a zero so you can sys eight's a lot easier to remember than sys 38 whatever a um, few other things you can do um, let's do memory 033c again um, I'll do 4A42 here. Now I've got my initials just in raw memory. We can do a hunt for, let's do from 0354 to 0394, and we'll do, whoops, uh, JB. And so this is hunt or search. It looks from this address to this address and for this string and it prints out the address where I found it 0364 which is right here where I poked those into memory um, another thing we could do um, let's do for a for three so now I've put JC there. We can do a compare 0364 to 036C and then 036, uh, 0374 to 037C. And again, it found that the B and the C are different from each other and so it's given the address of 0365 which is a second byte over here and that um, is within the first range that I gave it. A couple other things I could do um, we can again we can disassemble the address here so this is where I've poked in my little short program and we can see the program goes from 033C to 0346 non-inclusive so I can save 033C let's give it a name JB 033C uh, sorry 8 for the drive 033C to 034 Six. So now I have saved that on my um, disk. I can actually do at eight. That'll show me the status of the disk, and then I can do at eight dollars. And now I can see that I've saved that program there. So now I'm going to reset the computer. I'm going to load in my. Um, my JB program comma eight comma one because I want it to load where I tell it to and now if I do uh, sys 828 you, you can't really see it because it went too quickly but you can if you look really quick you can see that it printed out JB all right, so what else can we do? Um, we need to load back in Supermon. I 
as I reset. All right, and now you can see that it's loaded that back into memory. And that's pretty much it.